Basketball, a game of giants. And there's number 99, George Mikan, one of the greatest. The giant could move with the speed of a lightweight. When he had to, he knew all the tricks. And when it came to scoring points, he was in a class by himself. Despite his great size, six feet, ten inches, he's a natural athlete and excels in just about any sport you'd care to name. He set most of the game's scoring records. And his fighting spirit carried his teams to victory. But Mike Hand's road to the top was hard. To him, greatness came only after years of confusion and misery. On the basketball court, the change in Mike Hand was quickly noticeable. The big fella had confidence in himself. He kept opposing teams busy defending their baskets. Led by Big George, the team began going places. Almost overnight, they became contenders for the national crown. Mike Hand and his teammates were sensational. Big George's name was constantly in the newspapers. Mike Hand showed his stuff, but he was only one star among many. He'd come to the Lakers with a brilliant college record, but would it shine as brightly among these veterans? It was Mike Hand's big chance. He had to make good. With the professional Minneapolis Lakers, George Mikan lived up to his reputation as a great college player. In points scored, he led the league, but the opposition was winning too often, and owner Berger was displeased. The reason was Mike Hand. He was playing a lone wolf game, hurting the Lakers' teamwork. They racked up points, all right, but it was every man for himself. Time out, and the coach laid down the law. Basketball is a team game. While the coach spoke on, explaining the new plays, Mike Han was thinking hard. Suddenly, it was all clear. Kundla was right. George saw that he had tried too hard to start. He had been too anxious to make a good impression on the fans and chose the wrong way. Buckling down to work with the team, Big George resolved to do better. Kundla and Berger were thrilled as he led the team to victory. No wonder he was voted the player of the half century. <laughs>